just going to show you how I uh, created the analog uh, gauges for the uh, Nexion. Uh, I'm just creating uh, copies of the uh, dash 2.4.hmi file as well as the dash universal.ini file uh, just so that I don't overwrite the original. Uh, the HMI file is the template file that is actually uploaded to the next gen. So we're loading that up um, in the editor. We're going to create a new page. Let's uh, call it um, analog. And um, we type in send me. Um, that's to tell. Um, Sim hub, but the uh, position uh, of which page we are on. Uh, we'll upload a background uh, image. Uh, we'll upload uh, the two dials I've created um, prior. Um, once we uploaded that, we can select it. Uh, then we'll add a uh, gauge control. We'll name this one. We'll set it to global. Uh, we'll name it, uh, let's say, speed gauge. We'll uh, set it to global. Set the uh, since there's no uh, transparency, we have to select crop image and select the image that is being used um, in the background. Uh, we can position it. Um, Resize and position so that it's centered uh, in the um, in the gauge. We can uh, change the color. We can change the width of the uh, of the dial. Uh, and then we're going to create the second dial. Uh, the gauge. Um, going to call this one RPM gauge. Set it to global, set crop image, and select the same background. Let's resize and reposition. Set the color to red, increase the width to uh, 3, and we are done for the gauges. Let's add a few other controls. Uh, let's add a uh, gear indicator. So we'll name this one gear. Since there's already um, that same control being used elsewhere on other pages. Let's change the colors. Uh, resize. Let's set the background to black, uh, foreground to white, and uh, yep, we're done there. Let's create some uh, shift lights. Uh, let's upload some uh, images first. We'll just name this one, say, RPM bar round. Stupid name, but sorry. Um, yep, set it to image. Choose the background image, which is the uh, gray lights. Oh. And we'll select green as the foreground. Position it. And we'll add a solitary uh, light right in the middle. So to we we'll call this one shift light. We will upload these uh, two lights. So when it's uh, off, we'll have that image. We'll place it there. Let's name this one shift light. Set it as global. 
and we're done. That's it. Now we'll compile the um, file. Oh, except we need to um, select the right device. Mine is currently an enhanced 2.8. Let's compile again and we'll create the mapping file, which is uh, very important. And now we can uh, upload um, to the uh, next gen. So the next gen is connected uh, to the computer via a um, USB to TTL serial uh, adapter. So while that's uploading, uh, let's have a look at the mapping file that was created. So um, you see that uh, in page three, um, it's uh, now showing uh, all the controls that were created, five of them. Now we'll need to edit the uh, INI file. The mapping file you do not uh, touch. So here we are adding our new page analog. Uh, we want to show it when it's idling as well as when it's um, in the game. Uh, we'll add it here as well. This is so that uh, when you click on the uh, hotspots to go to the previous or next page, uh, it will do so. And that's why we had the uh, send me command before. So let's add the other controls. So uh, we'll add global shift light. We can just copy um, the code uh, from elsewhere. Yep, that one will do. Let's paste it in there, except we are changing the PIC, not PPIC in this case and we will need to swap the that number 20 and 16 around uh, with the correct uh, images that we want to use so when it's high we want to show image 20 otherwise image 19 so that's the shift light control done uh, next we will do uh, the rpm bar round so let's add that. This one we can also uh, copy um, from existing controls. So let's go here, check that one. We'll use the same code as being used for RPM bar. So yep, copy that. Paste. And similar to shift light, we want to um, use the correct uh, images. So let's find out what those images are. 16, 17, and 18. Okay, we want to use 18 there. Uh, when it's low, we want to use the um, 16. So this one will be 18 and 17. Okay, that's that. Uh, next would be the uh, two um, RPM gauge and the um, speed gauge. Now we'll need to write some uh, formulas for these. So we'll have to uh, create that formula. Okay, now uh, still need the formula, so we use the um, debugger uh, to, to test. So we go to page two, which is our uh, page. We are going to play with the position of the dials. So speed gauge dot val equals say 10. Uh, you see that's where that uh, dial is 
So we want to um, know where the position is when um, the speed is zero. So that should be yep, 315. So 315 degrees. For now we want to see where the position is when the speed is at 260 kilometers per hour. Uh, and I think that should be say 225. Yep. And we do the same for the RPM side. So RPM gauge dot well. Where zero uh, RPM is, that would be say I think 225. Yep. RPM gauge dot well. When it's at 10,000, it should be the opposite of that, which would be 135. Yep. So those um, degrees is uh, confirmed. So uh, what I've got here is uh, so one degree um, is basically equals to speed times 270 divided by 260. And the formula that we're going to derive is um, if uh, the degree value is less than 45 uh, degrees, we are going to um, start at position um, degrees uh, 315 plus the degree value. So it's degree value plus 315. Otherwise, it's um, degree value minus uh, the first portion, which is uh, 45 degrees. So, so that's the formula for speed. We'll do the same thing for RPM. So when RPM is 10,000, the degrees is two, it's 135, but the whole uh, travel would be, well, 270, so same. If the degree value, in this case, if it's less than 135, that part there, 135, then uh, degree value would be degree value plus um, from where it starts, that position is 225. Otherwise, is degree value minus 135. So we will um, take these formulas and paste it into the INI file. So we've got that. Um, but we need to tell it what degree value is. Degree value is uh, that. These are just my intermediate steps, so bear with me. Um, now we need to find what speed is. Luckily, we got speed there, so we just copy that part. Yep. So re replace that. Uh, we'll put brackets around the whole thing and we'll take that and replace our degree value and that's the formula done for speed gauge we'll do the same for RPM gauge except uh, we are not, well, the maximum value uh, for the RPM is 10,000, not uh, 260 kilometers, so we replace that. And now we've got to replace the speed with the uh, RPM, which is over there, we'll copy, and we will paste it into, paste it over where speed is, here. We'll take the whole lot and we will replace degree well in our formula. That's that. Let's remove this uh, intermediate code. 
and we are done. So the next thing is to test. So we fire up Sim Hub, enable next gen if uh, yours is not enabled. Go to plugins, wait for next gen to pop up. Yep, and select the right com pod, the right uh, template file, and the right mapping file. Apply. And yep, let's test.